You guys wanna make giant kisses? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Caleb has his treasure hunt ready for us. <laughs> Make sure the violin is in the van before slamming the door. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So today's Valentine's Day, and nothing shows Kendra love more than decluttering. We're donating some more stuff, and we're dropping off a bunch of boxes that have been sitting in our garage. All right, let's unload the boxes. Thanks for helping. So Papa and Mugger are here with us on Valentine's Day and they have a little something something for the kids. Close your eyes everybody, no peeking. Lisa, don't peek. Okay, you can open them. Happy Valentine's Day everybody. <gasps> And for you, Jeremy. Sweet. Is it coconut? Oh. Mm. oh, it is. Wow. The pink stuff is coconut. Mm. Well, was it the pink? This is Janae's first Valentine. Ah. It says, Janae, we love you. You have a great smile. Oh, for me? Ah. Yes, ah. Ah. We went to a special class, my friend did. Oh, that's so pretty. Where we learned to make, we made You made that? Stamps. They gave us Valentine's and wrote five things that they love about us. So there's people that we know that have been going through a hard time and we thought it'd be fun to show them love today. So since today is Valentine's Day, we are going to study the human heart and how it works. So what is the job of the heart? Um, it pumps in and out blood. It makes always bleed. It has to do with blood, you're right. Okay, so this is what the heart looks like right here. Okay. It doesn't really look like a heart. It looks different than the shape that we draw that's a heart, right? Okay, everybody take your fist. This is how big your heart is. So put it right there. That's Who, where your heart, heart is. Who's Every this? person's heart is about the same size as their fist. And then this is if you cut the heart in half so you can see the inside. This is what the inside of a heart looks like. <gasps> I kind of see a heart right here. Like a heart shape, like yeah. bloop, bloop. So here's the heart and it pumps fresh oxygenated blood through all your body so that it can keep all of the organs healthy and strong. And it does that through arteries. Oh, um, you can breathe. You breathe so you get oxygenated blood. It's unbelievable. It really is. So here's the heart muscle. And remember, these are the arteries that feed the heart itself. If the heart doesn't get oxygen, it can't pump. And if it can't pump, what happens to your whole body? It just stops. It stops getting fed. Yeah, and the problem is the heart can die very quickly if it doesn't get blood. There's three main arteries that come into the heart. You can't see the side one here. And mine got blocked right there on this side. And Papa's actually scheduling open heart surgery to get that fixed. Sure. How does the heart keep pumping while it it's having open heart surgery. So they have machines that artificially do what the heart and lungs do to keep you alive, and then you hook oh, it back up to the I heart. I have actually seen open heart surgery. So I've actually mm -hmm. seen that machine when I was a nurse. Yes, she fainted. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> so now we're gonna color these pictures and label the different parts of the heart. Right Kendra does such a good job with the kids where she'll have them all doing one activity, but all at different <laughs> levels of their grade level. So Laura finished up her heart, but then I turned over the page and discovered this drawing, which I have never seen Laura draw like this before. Did you draw that? It was you? No, Lisi drew it. No, I did. You did? It looks amazing. I love the eyelashes that you put on those people. Thanks. And now she wants to work on this picture of the heart. She did it. 
You see, that looks awesome. So two or three months ago, my dad had a heart attack and he went into emergency surgery and had several stents placed, but further evaluation has shown that he has more blockages going on in his heart. And so we've just found out that in two or three months, he's going to be having another surgery. And this time it's gonna be an open heart, triple bypass surgery. So we're learning about the heart and learning about what we can do to take care of our heart. And hopefully this helps the kids understand what's going on with Papa when that time comes. Laura, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put up the bird feeder. The bird feeder. We're trying to decide where to put it. So we're testing different spots outside to see where we can see it from inside. Hey, hey there it is. Hi, Dad. Okay. Putting the bird seat in. This is like treats for the birds, guys. This side is filled the most. So what's neat about this bird feeder is that it's set up that if squirrels come on, they can't get this seed. It's weighted for four ounces, believe it or not, and uh, birds are under that. So my parents actually got this bird feeder for us for Christmas, so it's fun to get it put up. There it is. There it is. Come, birds. Birds, we have food for you. We have a free restaurant. Come and get it. Now we yeah. gotta probably sit back and be quiet so we don't scare them. So while we've been dealing with snow, we have a couple days this week that are above 60 degrees. So we're taking advantage of that. Papa pumping up the tires. Yeah, we haven't used the bikes for a while with all the snow. We are gearing up to go on a walk and she won't keep her hat on. You're gonna get cold, silly. Whoa. That was a big jump. One time. We went on a walk and we came over here and it was so fun. Yeah, you you love the rocks? I memorized it. It's a good memory. So we're going on a walk. My mom's from Arizona, so she's all cold. And I'm like, it's nice out today. But I did bundle Janae, because even nice in Kansas City this time of year is cold. But she won't keep her hat on. You're a happy girl. <laughs> While we're walking, Papa is taking the big kids for a bike ride, and I love it. I think they look so cute riding their bikes. I don't know why bike riding is so cute to me, but it just makes me smile. Okay, what did I give you guys? Kisses. 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 What kind of kisses are these? Hershey's kisses. Yep, they are chocolate kisses. Hershey. Do you guys know that when I was a little girl one time, my mom, Maga made giant kisses for us for Valentine's Day. Giant. Do you guys want to make giant kisses? Yeah. Yeah. Giant one? But they would be Rice Krispie treats? Yes, we're gonna make it out of Rice Krispies instead of kisses, but we're gonna make it look just like this. <gasps> Do you think that's possible? Yeah, you can shape them like this big. We'll see. Can we eat it? Once you have both your Rice Krispie treats, you can eat them. Sound good? Uh -huh. Who wants to help me make it? Me. 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 I really particularly like your outfit, by the way. Elsa, with the mini apron, is just working for you. And the, the, and the socks. socks. <laughs> and the socks. So first step is make Rice Krispie treats. Okay, this way it won't stick to your hands. Good job. Compact it so that it's tight and squishy. I might need a little more because I'm pushing it down pretty good. Oh, you need Ooh. to pack it in that much? Yeah, you pack it all the way in. I forgot to butter my own hands. Oops. Laura eats 50% of the time she's making something. <laughs> it's like, sure, I'll help make it. <laughs> so now shape it like a Hershey kiss. While we're making these kisses, we have birds flying up and using the bird feeder. It's really fun. We bring it up, and now we bring this up to wrap it up to make it look like this kiss. Okay? Want to go get the next message and I'll help him? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so Kendra wrote little notes to each of the kids. And then you wrap it up. Laura's kiss keeps getting littler and littler. What keeps happening? It's gonna end up being a ball of tinfoil. <laughs> She's like, what? Wasn't this the idea? Hold it up here and we gotta put this thing up. Now you get to eat. Let the fish be gone! Mm. 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 
That's a book. It's like the size of your head. How'd you feel about giving a valentine? Good. What'd you like about it? I like that they were happy. Yeah, it's a fun thing to show people we love them. So we almost forgot that we have gymnastics tonight and we're running out of time so we just decided to stop at Chick-fil-A and grab some dinner before gymnastics. You're in, Cubby. And we have approximately 10 minutes before gymnastics. So we're going to chow down here and then go to gymnastics. Actually, just kidding. We can make this a totally romantic five minute date night. The kids are gonna eat here and Jeremy and I are gonna eat over here. Yes, that's how it's done. We were like changing in the car. We're like five to 10 minutes late. So since we've been home from gymnastics, the kids are all making treasure hunts for each other. Is this yours, Laura? Mm -hmm. oh, is that the first note? Do you know how to read scribbles? Yeah, of course. It says it, it's in here. That's what it says? <gasps> there is candy. No, you don't get to eat it Oops, for Caleb. I was just showing you. Oh, that was a good but treasure hunt. I get to do it for everybody else, so I have to hide it. Okay. All right, Caleb has his treasure hunt ready for us. What's the first clue? The first clue is on the side of the table where I did my made my treasure hunt. <gasps> Go look for it. Is it tape? Whoa! In the cupboard? Yeah. Not in it, it's on it. <gasps> right there! Where I watch football. football. <gasps> Laura, say where me and Isaac sleep. Where me and Isaac sleep. Let's go! On the bookcase. Over here on the bookcase? No, not that bookcase. Oh, the other bookcase. Found it. Where I snuggle <laughs> with dad. dad. Where Laura strolls her babies. Oh, in the basement. It's a great treasure hunt, Caleb. Candy! There's six, six, six pieces. Yeah. pieces. Minnie's excited. What's fun about these treasure hunts is the kids worked on them for like 45 minutes. I love that this was the kids' idea. They worked really hard on it, and treasure hunts are actually hard to coordinate. And I'm impressed. Good job, Caleb. Good work. All right, go get your jammas on. How was violin? Good. <laughs> Make sure the violin is in the van before slamming the door. Um. Open the door and close the door. Nailed it. <laughs> well, before going to bed, Elise made us this adorable little valentine. And she was cute, she wanted to see us kiss. <laughs> which was really fun. It was reminding me too of a couple years ago, I invited you to help me share a Valentine with Kendra of writing down things you loved about her and then I posted it all over our room because we got so many amazing loving things from you. I invited you to send emails with things you love about Kendra and the response was overwhelming. I got so many responses. I thought it would be really fun to help Kendra see how much she's loved. Each paper is an individual letter from a viewer about what they love about you. Guys, this is so overwhelmingly amazing! Valentine's Day is a fun day to celebrate with the kids and as a family, but Jeremy and I also want to make sure that we take time to celebrate together. So we're actually going to do that another day. We have a babysitter lined up and gifts for each other, and we're going to do a little Valentine's date night that's special just for us. Because it's important to celebrate the love of the whole family, but it's also really important to take care of our marriage. Well, Jeremy and I actually have a playlist, I think, on our channel of our love story. Where you that's get to hear true. about how we met, our first date, there's some you know, disagreement on what our first date actually was. And then our, our first, first kiss. kiss. So our first if date. you're interested in hearing more about that, you can check out that playlist. And for now, we're gonna go to bed. Good night. Jay, how's up? Thank you.